so this morning, I started working on more of my project. I think I did what? Well, not a Some project. Of... It was kind of just um, a thing that she just wanted to do. Yeah, here, I'll show it to you really quick. Time. So that's how many more days. Until we go to Maui. And I also did this. It's like, I don't know what. I think we should redo it. And also this morning we were sort of building a fort. Yeah, and we kind of fight over it, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Okay. <laughs> and we finally... So let's give you a room tour. And also, this is our first day off of school, so... Yay! Because no school! Of, because they, they, didn't want it, they didn't want it, they didn't want us to... Um, Actually, I could see your armpit. They, they don't <laughs> want us to um, go to school because of the coronavirus for six weeks, and now we have a lot of homework, and yeah. we're doing like reading. And plus, we have break, too, so that technically counts. What? They're in the room. Yeah. Okay. Let's give you a room tour. <laughs> so, um, here is our fort. And it's a whole display. Chelsea and Chelsea really did that part, and I kind of helped. I did that. this part right underneath the table. Yeah. This is her part. We'll show you in a minute. Yeah. So, uh, come on in. So, here is. We have to be really careful. Yeah. <laughs> so, this so, is her room. I got this little. Uh, I'm sorry, let's right there, and I think you might have can't. Like, she has like a whole setup and then like a mattress. Yeah, I have a mattress because this is Abby's. Cooking. Our hair are like all staticky. Yeah, it just sticks to the blanket. Yeah. And I have that up there, and I just have this. Chelsea, uh, your blanket's up. Uh. <laughs> so now we're gonna go into Chelsea's room, and I think hers is this kind of not really decorated. <laughs> and well, I mean that's because my room is pretty small. So we have this little blanket. It's a storage. Yeah. And then here's Chelsea's blanket that she <sighs> kind of likes to sleep in. Floof around and um, play And then she got this water ball and that cute little sticker from her teacher. Okay, well, let's go on. Yeah. And then, so there's my bedroom. Got them pillows. Got them bling. Ew, it's my board. So, um, we're going to give you a room to where Chelsea's like, ah. <laughs> Well, you already seen the <laughs> back of it, and it's kind of like in the front. That's the camera. <laughs> it's like this. It's a trap. It's like this, and it's like there's a little blanket right there. You can see half of my room right there, and then Joseph, you can see your hand. All right, do you guys like it when I have little braids? braids? Ashley did these, did these braids in my hair last night, huh, yeah. Ash? I'm and just, then I got braids. And then we did matching braids. I didn't even realize we did that. <laughs> yeah. All right, but who's getting her hair cut today? Me. And we, we'll show the shot from yesterday because it was kind of the better shot, but yeah. of her hair like really long, how long it was. Mm -hmm. But we're going to cut a couple inches off, huh, Abby? Uh -huh. This morning, you guys took the camera, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A little bit. We, we did a countdown we, for we, our well, trip. Yeah, Chelsea did it and I... It's kind of like Abby's drawing, like kind of, kind yeah. of last year, but not with the. You should have Abby help you with it too. She's okay. good at drawing that kind of stuff later. All right, let's go in and get Abby's haircut, and then we have a bunch of errands to run. Right, first day of no school, countdown. I have it on my phone. Okay. We have, we'll have to show that later. We'll show the countdown to when school starts again. Yeah. Okay. So here is Abby's hair. It looks really good. I like it. Right? It just feels so much stronger on the ends. It was kind of like me when I got it. looks really good. Uh -huh. Yeah, it'll feel good. All right, next up, we have to go to the high school and the middle school. Are you texting Carrie? Yeah. Because we forgot, well, both of them didn't have PE yesterday. And so they didn't know that school is gonna be canceled and they have left their PE clothes in their lockers. <laughs> so we don't need PE clothes sitting in there for six weeks. So we're gonna go get that and then anything else out of their locker that they might need. And then 
we're gonna run to cash and carry and grab a few supplies. And so we're gonna head over that direction. All right, Chelsea, what flavors are we gonna pick? I really wanted this one. This one you want that one? I know, we're gonna kind of pick ones we're gonna take to Hawaii with us. Yeah. So with a pineapple. Abby. Yep. Abby, we're gonna get the pineapple one. Where's the coconut? Right, and the coconut one. There's the coconut. All right, so it's raining, so I don't want to like show it. Tater treats. Got tater treats. <laughs> Finally found flour. Got a 25 pound bag of flour. We got a bunch of sodas just for fun, and then we got some cereal. These ones, these ones were 2.75 a box. This one was 3.75 just for extra. Abby wanted some popcorn. We eat it in the car. And no. these ones are for our trip, as well as those. I'll explain those later. All right, we've been home for a while and I've gone ahead and set up this little mini school station for the younger two. They've got their regular basket with all the supplies here. And then I've got their books that they actually got from the library at school. Their teachers let them pick out three or five books, I think, to bring home and use during the break. And then they just had to take them back when we go back to school. And then I pulled out my first grade workbook from uh, Costco first grade and kindergarten actually actually can work on both of those this is all of their stuff that they've gotten from their teachers there's only a little bit of stuff in there to work on and then the teachers are still working on getting them more and then I pulled out some composition books so that they can do some writing and some math work and that kind of stuff in the notebooks and then this is their little pencil roll this and now Abby wants short, that's for reference yeah. can I see the reference of how short that is on you though Okay. So Abby's got all her shorts that we got at Old Navy a couple months ago, and she's just ready to get them cut off and ready for our trip. Because I don't wear them. And if there's no school, I'm not going to wear them. That's true, and it's not nice weather no. outside <laughs> by any means. All right, we're going to cut these off. Let's see. I'm leaving that in, girl. <laughs> it's so gross. Like you I know, you. I don't do that. I don't do that at all. really isn't like <laughs> no, I just cut it well kind of did let's just hold this here and cut it okay. can you pull those off cut we use this one as our example one and then we cut these three so now I have a lot of little pieces of scrap jeans that I can use for sewing later but now Abby's got shorts for our trip and for the summer there you go and Ashley said she had something to show me right yeah. let's turn on a little light so we can show what's in your castle all right Ashley you want to show us around yeah. you've been working on this haven't you um, so this is going right here in the kitchen. Okay. Abby, tell me that was a kitchen. <laughs> it's a kitchen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Then what do you have next? My all my hat to move, and then a few more over. Over on that here. side. Oh, so cute! Look at all of them lined up in there. I like that one. Okay. Now what's in the next part of the castle? <gasps> oh my goodness! And then I got that right there. That the couch, right there. and then the zoom zooms back in there. And then I think it. Right <gasps> Oh, and there, <laughs> look at that. Okay, and then the top shelf, what do we got up here, honey? All the bed stuff and kind of the kitchen back there. Oh, how fun. So these guys, the girls all have their beds right there? Well. Show us one of the beds. <laughs> it's both, that is Oh, I see. bed and that okay. is Elf's bed. It's very cute. You've been playing and I appreciate that you play. That's why I let you leave this down here because I'd rather you play than just be on your iPad, huh? I normally listen to, I normally listen to my iPad, but not. You just kind of listen to it while you play with your toys? That's better. I'd rather you be playing, huh? So I'm being a lot laid back on the structure of our day today just because it's Friday 
and it's the first day of break. Well, whatever you wanna call this whole thing. So I'm just, I can't, can't establish a routine on a Friday because Saturday chores and then Sunday. And so it's just kind of easier if I just let them kind of have a freebie. freebie. Next week, I've set up that little school area and it's gonna take like a week or so, maybe even more to figure out from the teachers kind of a plan. But next week I will start to have them start working on what they've got from the teachers so far. Like Abby already has homework that she just got regularly and her teachers are starting to post some of the stuff on their websites and so they can start to work on stuff, which I will then have them do. And they're all required, all four of them are required to read for at least a half hour a day. And Chelsea, we decided that we were gonna have a little reading hour, didn't we? That starts next week. Okay, will you pause your show for a sec? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do a reading hour where we all hang out on the couch, we're gonna pop some popcorn or chips, and we're gonna have reading hour. That'll be fun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just getting my tater tots. Yeah, Chelsea was hungry. She's like, can we make some tater tots? We got <laughs> some at Cash and Carry today, so she's cooking for us. What else are we gonna have for dinner? It's 5.30. You choose. I choose I the rest of know. dinner. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I was what? just thinking oranges. I know, our oranges, look at, have we shown them how many they oranges? They look like a little bit weird, but they're new. No, they're not weird. Look how many oranges. Stuff. We have big ones and small ones. Like that's mainly the one that's full of oranges. Yes, it is. They're kind of big into these. These ones are from Costco, you guys. I have at least one or two a day. So, so I just need to figure out the other part of dinner. They really could, I probably, maybe we skip an orange for dinner, Chelsea, and just do banana. I've actually got, one unopened, two opened. So we're gonna slice those and finish those two guys. It looks like Ashley's been here for peanut butter. <laughs> yes, Ash? Yeah. Did you have cheese sticks as well? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was our snack at like four o'clock. Was um, cheese sticks and peanut butter. Whatever, she got protein and she got dairy. She probably had the other half of that banana too. So. I've got to figure out the rest of dinner. We're not like starving because we had a really late lunch. I'm ahead of my laundry, you guys. So I'm not even showing you part that part of my day because I have a whole separate video of that um, that I can link here because oh, I didn't start this. Oh, it's because I'm working on hanging this load. I got distracted when I went to help Abby cut her jeans. So I'm ahead on Saturday laundry, which I'm super excited about because I don't want to just spend all day tomorrow doing chores. The kids did a little bit extra today. They did a little extra. Yes, we added two new chores, and I'm going to have Kaylee and Abby do those same chores upstairs. Well, I'm going to have But here's the thing. Ashley only has two, and I have, like, a bunch. Yeah, but you lost. Okay, so here, let me, let me explain to them really quick. So... Chelsea dropped vacuuming. I'm gonna go ahead and take over vacuuming while they're home because I'll probably vacuum the whole floor probably every other day just to keep the floor clean. And then I will, so then Chelsea lost that main chore herself because what I want them to be conscious of, I could do this chore for them, but I want them to be conscious of keeping everything clean where we touch our hands this week and for the next, well, six weeks while we're out of school and on vacation, hopefully. So I'm gonna have Chelsea, what is Chelsea doing? She's wiping down the bathroom counter. She's gonna wipe the counter and the sink and especially the knobs on the sink. So she's gonna wipe down the bathroom and it's just to make them conscious of what we're touching. And then Ashley is going to additionally wipe down all the knobs on the main floor. So all the knobs in the kitchen that she can reach and then the doorknobs and the door on the kit on the fridge but all that kind of stuff it's a very simple task to do so it's not really like that much of a burden for her but i'm gonna have kaylee and abby do the same thing upstairs one of them will, they can probably trade off one of them is going to wipe the handles on the sink and wipe out the sink every day and then the other person is going to wipe all the doorknobs upstairs there's not as many upstairs because the kitchen has more of them on the all the poles on the cupboards so it's not gonna be that big a deal, but I want them to be conscious of everything that we touch and make sure as they're going in and out of the house that we are keeping all of that clean so we don't bring anything in and get us sick or then carry it out to someone else. So that's just kind of what I've changed in terms of chores to keep the house clean while they're home 
for a really long time. Day one, and it feels like a Saturday. Abby is more motivated to just get it done, so she does it earlier than later. You just never know. Gotta go figure out dinner, and then Jason will be home late, but that's normal. Chelsea had the idea to make some eggs to go with her hash brown tater tops. <laughs> There's a shell in there. Yeah. So she wanted to make eggs, and I thought that sounded good too, so she's gonna make me some, right? Oh, it's not any harder to make one egg versus three. Goober. How do you get it out? We'll crack the other eggs and then I'll come and get it out, okay? All right, so Abby was trying on some of her stuff she's got for the trip, and she thought this would be kind of a cute outfit. Show your two ideas of how to wear the little wrap. Mom thought you could tie it up like this. Tie it up on each side. Yeah. In little knots, right? So she's just got a tank top and her shorts on. Mm -hmm. we, we bought it for a swim cover. Yeah. But it's kind of cute where you just wear it during the day. And tie up both Right? Sides. And then I'll, yeah, tie up both sides. Or you could then tie it up in the middle. Yeah. So we like can show that, that as well. Yeah. All right. So then this is how it looks with the one. It's just really cute. And she has multiple colors. You have like a salmon colored, like this colored yeah. tank top. And a pink one. Yeah. So, and even t-shirts. It would be cute if you had a t-shirt underneath it too. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a cute idea. She gets really sunburned on her shoulders, yeah. but it's hot. And so this that is like a good cover to even wear away from the pool. Your hair is really cute with it. So that's a really cute outfit and all the jeans will look good with it. Yeah. So. Chelsea is my little cook. So we're going to make some juice. We've got our little crystal like light. Because we've got to add some sh um, crushed ice to that. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. That makes it um, Better. taste really, really good. Hey, you guys. Jason's joined me, and we're going on a joy ride to take a, a shoot. Yeah, this is what you do when you're a bored adults. Bored adults and have kids home for six weeks on break. Um, you you go for drives at eight o'clock at night and put your kids to bed and deliver a shoe to a friend. Oh, wait. Whoa, we it's went really dark. dark. <laughs> Hang on. I'll turn on my light. Let there be light. Let there be light. So we're just gonna end our night here. We survived our first day of quarantine. Kaylee is at her her house playing with her friends, and <laughs> it's a loose quarantine. I know it's a very loose quarantine that they're I over at friends' work, house. I just went shopping, locking that down tight. Stop. <laughs> I got flour. So the guy's like, "You're lucky to get flour. That one goes out the door quick." So. Um, anyway, I was sitting here in the seat and I, I have my heat. I don't even have heat on. I have it, the air turned down to 62 and my whole body is like starting to get super, super hot. I'm like, what in the world? Why am I getting so hot? I had the car warm because I had just taken Kaylee to her friend's house, but I realized that Abby had left the heated seats on from when I was out shopping with her earlier today. <laughs> so like my whole body, my whole core it has heated up from the seats being warm so got that turned off anyway it was just kind of funny because he's like you are the last person to use the heated seat function on any car I, I never use it but um next week we'll kind of instigate some more structure with school that's going to be a loose term too but we haven't we got to stay i found a good website yeah For all you people out there or maybe have your kids at home there's a website, Khan Academy, K-H-A-N Academy. Uh, apparently, it's supposed to be really good. It's free. Um, so anyways. Well, I'll put a link. I got a link today. I finally found it. Someone posted it. Um, there's a link to a bunch of educational sites that are allowing free subscriptions during all of this pandemic situation and I'm going to 2020 stop and everything everyone needing to like homeschool their kids and whatnot but not I'm not a homeschool mom I, I like this is really hard for me and so like ABC mouse I think is one of them um, they're allowing free subscriptions basically and so I'll put that link down below I'm gonna have to check it out myself so that the kids can sit down with computers and have time to do that hey, and like crap, is someone just driving the ditch Someone just drove into one of the deep ditches. Oh, shoot. Stop. Oh, no. Someone just drove off the side. Oh, that oh, sucks. Oh, that sucks. They got totally... Literally right across the street from where that car went into the ditch, 
another car went into the ditch. When was that? Like a month ago? I forget when it was. It was on a Sunday. Anyway. They're really deep ditches. And like you, half the car goes into the ditch. Oh yeah, you would totally probably turn, go on sideways side if you really went in it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Take care, you guys. We'll be back Hi. tomorrow, maybe, if we do anything fun tomorrow. Um, otherwise, we'll bring you our new routine of being homeschoolers. We'll be back when we become homeschoolers next week.